What's red and smells like blue paint? Red paint, and this is Balloon Animal Lessons number 24. Hello, Balloon World. I'm your balloon twister, Michael Floyd, and today I want to teach you how to make a two balloon train. A special thank you to David Brennan for collaborating with me on this design. It's a really cool balloon train, only uses two balloons, and you get to reuse one part of the balloon for the smoke on the top and also for the wheels, so it's efficient. Let me show you how to make it. This design uses two balloons for the train, so get your two balloons. I'll be using light blue for the body and dark blue for the smoke and the wheels. First step is to make the smoke. Now, if you don't want to make the smoke, you can skip this step. But I think it's sort of cool because it uses up the excess of the blue balloon. So we're going to inflate the balloon about one third of the way. And we're going to tie it. Now, when you tie it, make sure you have long slack. Make sure you have a lot of slack, twist the section, deflate it, and then use that to tie the balloon. Now we have plenty of slack to play with. Make 10 small bubbles in sequence. This sometimes can help if you hold it between your pinky and your ring finger. That way it won't come undone. This also frees up your pinching fingers, your, your pointer finger and your thumb to pinch. So you can make a lot of bubbles quite quickly. So I'm already at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Ten bubbles. Yeah, I know how to count. Now I'm going to twist this section here into this section here so that those bubbles don't come undone. My next step, squeeze the balloon, make sure it's nice and soft. Go up a little bit because I want to use that to tie and break it off. Try to hold on to them both. I'm going to use this part here. Tie it. This is going to be my wheels later, so hold on to that. The smoke I've just made, make sure you tie that loose piece there because you don't want it deflating on you. And here we have our balloon smoke for our smokestack. Let's work with our other balloon. Get the balloon that you want to use for the body of the train. Once again, mine's a light blue. Inflate it about two thirds of the way. We start with the smokestack. Make sure you give the balloon a nice squeeze so that it's soft. Get your smoke, because the smoke comes out of the smokestack. And we're going to do a tulip twist also known as a marriage twist. We're going to take the nozzle here, we're going to push it in, we're going to grab a hold of it from the outside, and then I'm going to pull my finger out gently. That can be tricky. Twist it then on this side of the knot. So the knot should be right there on the outside. Now after I've twisted a couple of times, I'm going to push it back inside a little bit. There we go. Now we have smoke coming out of a small smokestack. The next step, twist a small bubble, about an inch. Uh, there we go, about an inch. Pull it up with a bubble about two inches. And then another bubble about an inch. These two should be about the same size. And this should be about double the size of either one of these. Now twist this section here with the tulip twist, and then twist this section here with the rest of a tail, and twist them together. And there we go, that's the front of our train. Now we're gonna twist a small bubble, about half an inch, followed by a large pinch twist, about a one inch bubble. And then we got to make the body of our train. So now we're going to do a hands width. My hands are about four, maybe five inches wide. Followed by another pinch twist, one inch bubble. There we go. Pinch twist it. Awesome. Doing great. Now we're going to make a large flower petal. Fold it over. It should be about three and a half, maybe four inches tall. Squeeze it so it's nice and soft. Okay. Now this part can be a little tricky. Because this part here, we want the front to be just a small bubble, and we want to work it all the way back up to where the smokestack is. If this is too long, it's not going to sit right. If it's too short, it won't reach. 
So we have to figure out by doing a little bit of, you know, finagling. Figure out how long your hand width is. Once again, mine's about four inches. So this one here, this section here, I want it to be a tiny little bubble. So that means I can make this flower petal here instead a little bit bigger. So let me undo it a little bit. I'm gonna make that one a little bit bigger. Try to use up some more of that balloon. Because this one here, I want it to be just a little bubble. Once again, like half an inch. Now I'm going to do my hand width section. And now I got my bubble in the right spot. Twist this bubble here where the smoke stack and the cow catcher meet. There we are. Okay. This bubble here goes right there in between the flower petal. And now we just got to straighten, we have to straighten up our train. Smokestack goes on top. The bubble that we ended with goes in front of it. The cow catcher, those three bubbles right, we did right after the pinch twist, go on the bottom. And then on the bottom, you're going to want your two pinch twists to go straight in a line. There we go. And this is our train. Now we have to add our wheels onto it. Get that other piece of, yell, uh, of a balloon that you had left over. We're gonna take the knot, we're gonna twist it in right here where the flower petal and the pinch twist meet. Now usually I do four bubbles, but if you have a really small body on your train, you can use three, but I traditionally do four. So figure out how long that is, divide it into fourths. For me, that's a little over an inch each one. You basically want the bubbles to lay flat. Oh, see, mine are too big. I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna divide those into fourths a little bit smaller, a little bit less than an inch. Okay. Now I'm gonna twist this section here in with that other pinch twist. Do another four coming back the other way. And then once you got that, twist that into that pinch twist. And I got this piece here left over. Don't need that. You can pop that off, let the air out, and wrap it up around that pinch twist so it doesn't come undone. Now on the bottom, you're going to want the pinch twist to sit in a straight line, pushing the wheels to the outside. Same with this one here in the front. Straighten the front up again. There we go. Fuss with it a little bit. Try to make it look like a train as much as you can. Awesome. And there we have our two balloon train. Uh, this is a pretty advanced, you know, two balloon balloon. Uh, the, the design is pretty simple once you get the hang of it, but it can take some practice. Now we move on to our art. For the art, what I like to do is draw a box on the cab. I like to draw just a simple box. On the cab. Then what I'll do is I'll draw a little stick person inside. Give him some eyes and a simple mouth. Maybe thicken up that line on the bottom of the box. Keep it real simple. And I go, hey, look, it's a person in a window. But really what it is, it's a painting on the outside of the train. Nobody knows the difference. Now the only thing left to do, if you want to, you can take your smoke if you've made it, and you can twist some of the bubbles together to make it look more like a plume of smoke coming up and less like a ring of smoke. See? Plume. Thanks for watching how to make a two balloon train. If you like this video, be sure to check out the previous video or check out the next video or check out the random video. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Balloon Animals. For more balloon animal instructions, please go to balloon-animals.com.